Hey guys, it is Monday, May 8th, and I'm in studio with Steve and Mandy. Hey guys. Hey, Michael. Hello. So we've got some more room designs to show you today. There's 10 in total. Let's get right to it. Now this first one I thought was really creative. It's a street, and it was sent in by Susie Jack. Now we had this beautiful kooky science wallpaper flooring that uh, were original trading card prizes, and they've used the wallpaper here and uh, added that stone wizard flooring to make it seem like almost like an alley in a busy city. I almost picture New York or something. Of course it's Kinsville, but look at that with that newsstand and that movie awning. It just really makes it look like a street scene. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, and then that item on the right is a hide and seek item. Right? Is that what they're called? Where your pet will hide in there, yeah. which that is perfect too. This is so clever. Yeah, they've managed to collect like a lot of great things that really work as if they're out on the street. Even is that a pile of leaves down at yeah. the bottom of the... Yeah, as if they've been blown there. I've never seen that wallpaper before and this mm -hmm. works so perfectly mm -hmm. for, and for only, the street. And only in Kinsville are you going to find uh, graffiti, the scientific uh, formulations <laughs> for graffiti there. Goober's been at it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As I said, it was originally a trading card prize, but I believe we gave it away for one of our deluxe monthly challenges, but I love um, that taxi there, like the back of the taxi. That was part of the Sweet 16 theme. And there's the curbside cuisine fridge, I believe, which was our original um, raccoon PSI, and it's right next to the taxi there. But perfect. That awning, Stephen, that's a family score prize too, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. One of the uh, little movie marquee signs. Yeah, I love it. It's really cool. Great job, Susie Jack. Let's move on. Now, this one's also very cool. It's a maple syrup farm, and this was sent in by Coco. You know what? Spring has just passed, so it looks like the perfect time of year. Uh, the maple syrup to be running and yeah. a little fire there, which is always When fun. Coco emailed me their design, they did mention that they were Canadian as well. I think that they've represented that with the sugar shack, this yeah. maple syrup, but also that toque that that pet is wearing almost looks like a little Canadian flag on yeah, there. Yeah, it does. Sort of a the a red white <laughs> color scheme. Yeah. No, it's so cute. It's kind of interesting here how they have the uh, snow tiles and uh, you've got uh, yes. the winter version background, but not the winter version of the yeah. actual uh, yeah. flooring there, but they've got the, the snow tiles covering it, so they, they kind of have everything covered there. Yeah, that was a little glitch we had for a while, but yep. yeah, they dealt with it. Coco figured it out. Yeah, and those trees there were from our winter fest, and they work perfectly here. Um, they're the maple trees without the maple leaves but I'm sure they're going to come back soon. So great job. Let's move on here. Now, this is really cool. Then it's training stables. And this is really cute because it looks like the inside of a barn with these little areas sort of cornered off and all these horses around hanging out and playing around. So I thought it was really, really cute. It's really clever the way they've used those wooden barriers. What Are those just room dividers? I... They're from our old country theme that is still cool. available in the curio shop. And I believe that is a bookshelf or a dresser that they have turned turned oh, backwards neat. and so it looks like a room divider. What a great idea and also I think that's the pirate wallpaper right but it works perfectly at the inside of a barn if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, okay. I think it's like the something uh, below the deck wallpaper. Oh that's right. It's, yeah. a, it's part of the pirate theme but it's only available in the curio shop. But doesn't it work really well Perfect. For, for a barn or a stable? Oh my gosh yeah. We also have that um, beautiful weathered barn flooring and wallpaper that you can get from Jumbleberry Field which would work perfectly here. Maybe they're saving up for it because I see one of those prizes from Jumbleberry Fields, yeah. the farm tools I love on the left. It just goes to show you like uh, how many design possibilities you get when you kind of uh, think outside of the box as far oh, as like, man. the backs. Many of our items, people don't realize that you know you would think that you're only supposed to use them the, the front view of them, but that there's uh, all sorts of design possibilities when you use the backs. Well, now that you say that, those are grandfather clocks, yeah. aren't they? How clever! Like what a what a great use oh, of items right. to create this stable. Yeah. I like the uh, the subtle nod there where you've got uh, the picture of the, the dogs playing poker <laughs> and you've got a bunch of yeah. in front of it playing poker. <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very very cool. Great job. Let's move on here. This is really well set up. It's a crime lab. And it was sent in by Bullseye Jingles 444. Now, this looks like a TV crime lab or something like you'd see on one of those crime um, TV shows. But it is really, really well done. And everything is placed perfectly. 
Yeah, what a clever idea. And those are, you know, I think those are some like science and classroom items. But when you place mm-hmm. them in this sort of laboratory setting, it it works perfectly. You can just see the forensic scientists getting to work to <laughs> hopefully solve not too bad a crime. <laughs> well, well the, the, the bed there, which I assume is uh, part of the morgue, is empty, so that's, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I like there that the, there's only like two... Uh, two kooky scientist items in here that I can see and uh, it just kind of feels uh, right. like a much more modern and clean and uh, so clean the fact they've got to even have a dishwasher in there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Actually, it's still, it's, it it still works in this uh, thing. It's for you test would, tubes. Right, yeah. yeah. And test tubes yeah. and microscope slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a mixture because there's some of the clinic items so there's some classroom items, some clinic items and yeah, really smart use. Like even the wall, are those a deck dangerous side? I can't remember what those walls yeah, uh, are. Yeah, no, those are from no, the, galaxy oh, the galaxy theme. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and yeah, I feel like, you know, they might be entering data into there and sending Absolutely. it off to be tested. And every la- every crime lab needs a, needs a good microwave. <laughs> well, yep, they've got all the gear. Yep, they do. They're all set and ready. Maybe that area is their lunchroom. Who knows? But uh, great job, Bullseye Jingles 444. This one is really well done. This was sent in by Coco, and it's a pizzeria. Oh, my gosh. How I cool is that? love this. I love... Oh, there's so much I love about this. I love the doors, the wrought iron yeah. doors. I love the way they've used those. Those are buildable wall items. Yes, aren't the IB they? brick walls are buildable items available in the um, W shop. Yeah. Yeah, and then the rustic columns next to the pizza oven. And are those pizza boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Pizza boxes there. It's amazing. Again, it's like how completely different items from different themes and different times just kind of all work together. You've got, you know, those uh, dining tables together with, uh, I think those are from the pirate theme even, or maybe, yeah. maybe even the medieval theme, uh, the chairs there. And uh, yeah, it just all ties together nicely. And then there's a fountain in the back, isn't there, with the beautiful, yes. it looks like a terracotta clay, which is perfect. It for, is perfect. For this restaurant. That, I mean, I think a lot of people get ideas from this room just because the wallpaper and those ivy brick walls that you say work perfectly together and would make amazing combination if you want to create room dividers and things but that wallpaper is that from the w shop it is isn't yeah, it that's like, like an old yeah one. it is i forget the exact name it is from the w shop yeah i don't know why it slipped my mind but i like also those rustic wood columns there those are from jumbleberry field so great job i think yep. i'm gonna have to steal some of Coco's oh my ideas because <laughs> you idea- know i yeah. like to steal ideas from these videos I think everybody does. Everybody <laughs> inspired. brings something. Yeah, inspired. Exactly. <laughs> inspired by the designs. There you go, Stephen. Well said. Okay, so there's the pizzeria. Now, this one is really cool. There again, we see that trick with the blue flooring and adding different sort of floor tiles on top of it. But Tammy did a great job here with the Adventure Island. And talk about adventure. This looks like an amazing, fun place to visit. It's oh. a great way of it. They've kind of built it all, you know, shaded it in where you've got the, on the one side of the grass, but then by using those stone tiles that have a lot of gaps between them, it kind of... Uh, you know, makes like a nice transition point between yeah. the water and the land. Even the way you're seeing the edge of the blue along the bottom there, it makes it look more like that's an island, as if it's floating. And and all the items that Tammy's collected, I see some uh, vacation island prizes and yeah, oh yeah, and that hammock. But yeah, this is just. It's just so much fun. And the wallpaper, too, is perfect because it creates really the illusion of the island, right? Because there's the beach on the other side and it's leading out to the ocean. So water on all sides. Great job, Tammy, on your adventure island. We only have a few more left here. This is a cooking class and it was sent in by Regan. Now, we've seen a bunch of these at Kinsville Academy cooking classes, but I really like Regan's design. They've got all the different little sections set out, including one where maybe they'd give it a lecture or or be taught um, a recipe. And um, there's even like a little grocery area to pick up what you're going to be cooking with and of course the cooking areas here but uh, really great design. Yeah I really like the way that Reagan's used different items from different themes but they all work together because they create little sections where you can see different parts of the class happening. It's, it's really clever and cute. Yeah, it feels like the perfect place to learn about flipping pancakes. <laughs> Just like a oh yeah there you go. Right yeah yeah yeah. Stephen's talking about the cooking class at the Kinsville Academy and actually if you unlock level 10 you actually Actually unlock an arcade game that you can play every day turn kins cash and it's that pancake clipping game so great tip there steven let's move on this one is really cool it's an easter cottage room and this was sent in by greenie that is beautiful now that 
item. I was thinking, is that the super deluxe item from last year, or is this the one in the far corner? Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. It's the Adventure Park water slide. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yep. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't sure, but yeah, it it makes the perfect backdrop. The way they've used those different colors and yeah, it's a great combination of uh, tiles that we have here. Like, yeah. Uh, you've got the. The lightning grass, oh, you've right, got right, right. the lily pads, you've got the clover, you've got the golden deluxe tiles there. It's really uh, very colorful. And it's then beautiful. those, yeah, a lot of cute spring celebration items like the eggs in the corn, in each corner is so pretty. And that egg on the left, which I don't think I've ever seen before, which is like a gazebo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe these are a lot of these are um, Easter items, but yeah, they are all beautiful and they work really well together. So great job, Greeny. This one now. Now is Jurassic Park, and this was sent in by Gappy Two, one of the coolest movies in all time, and one of, in my opinion. But I really like their recreation of it here, and this room is very symmetrical as well. Actually, as you can see, they've used a lot of the same items on the left side of the room as they do the right, and framing it all, or in the center of it all, is that beautiful Bubba Gumasaur slide, which looks like a lot of fun. But I don't think that they're intending it to be a slide in this design. I think they're intending it to be one of the big dinosaurs that would be featured in Jurassic Park. Yeah, they've used that uh, Jurassic wallpaper, but then there's lots of color in front that really yeah. makes it fun and pop. And again, talking about turning things around, I think, are those waterfalls that have sort of been turned backwards so that it almost so. looks like they could be little volcanoes too. Yes. I, I love the way they've created like big rock formations by turning those around. And they have a couple of uh, pterodactyls uh, hanging out in this uh, Jurassic Park as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very cute, very well done. Lots of things here to see and explore with your eyes. It's, it's a great design. Great job, Gap 2. Now, this is the last one that we're going to see today. We saw the cooking class very recently, but now this one is the Kinsville Academy Agility class, and this was sent in by Angel Girl. This is really cool. I love how they use the spree road tiles there to create a running track. They have used a lot of different other prizes in here as well to recreate this room, including those bleachers that you see that we gave away during our spring celebration, I believe by feeding your pet a Winterfest cookie this past Winterfest I'm talking about. But they've set up the bleachers there and um, a lot of the classmates wearing their KVA kind of clothing and caps have come out to support the athletes. Yeah, I love that they've used those rope dividers as the hurdles. That right. Those work perfectly there. And that finish line, Stephen, a lot of the prizes that you see here, you actually win at the Kinsville Academy by completing level 10, correct? Correct, yeah, and uh, I just like what they've done with the stands there, how they've kind of blended in those two cheerleader uh, tables right. so they could set up their uh, video camera to record, right. uh, <laughs> record the classes. Um, I really like the uh, trophy pedestal there where they've got all those yep. uh, different things set up. Yep, like, three like pets. Trophies. Yeah. yeah, that was given away, of course, um, during our Webkin's Year 10 event. It was in one of those uh, time capsules. So there you go. Great job, Angel Girl. Great job, everybody who sent in a room design. Keep them coming. You can send them to us at letsbuild.gans.com and you never know, you might hear us talking about them on WebKids News. So thank you, Mandy. Thanks. Steve, thank you. Uh, thank you, Michael. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.